Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we are just hanging out at the Denton office and you know, it's just a little quiet here because we don't have as many people anymore um, in the office uh, with uh, with a lot of people working remote. So we need a little customer interaction. So um, if you have questions on dog food, we're gonna answer them. And you can just toss those out. Uh, let me know what you have, uh, especially if you have a, a question on, on trying to create a, a custom recipe for your dog and you'd like someone just to walk through that with you. I'm here right now and we'll answer any of those questions and when we may even get interrupted by one of our little buddies that are up here helping us work today. So um, if you've got a question, let us know and we'll get after it. If not, I'm going to just leave this tab open and as I do some work, you know, if, if I see a customer coming across that needs some help with the dog food or has a question about the customizations, uh, be happy to answer that. And uh, one exciting thing that I do have to share with everyone, I'm going to pull it up on my phone and show you is uh, Eddie's working on a little project for us yesterday. I don't know if anybody watches our Facebook stories as they scroll across, but can everybody see that? Coming soon, pumpkin spice. So, who all is here with me? Anybody have a question on dog food or treats? Do you see my shirt? Anybody want to say hi to Eddie? Eddie, you should come say hi. Hey. There we go. Hey everybody. So Emma has a question. <clears throat> Do any of the customizations make the shelf life less? Like should a customized bag be used up faster than a regular bag? That's so a great question. It is a great question. Uh, typically no, Emma. Um, the food should last just as long. The uh, Most of the food that you're getting from us, we're shipping out within 30 days of us making the product. And so uh, it's all super, super fresh. You know, most of the stuff you get from like the grocery store, um, or maybe another mass retailer, a lot of times it may already be four or five, six months old. So what you're getting from us is uh, very, very fresh. So I uh, hope that answers your question. Um, Vicky says hello, Eddie. Hey, Vicky. Hello, Kim, how are you? Kevin Neal asks about cat food. Guess what, Kevin? We got something really, really cool cooking on the cat food. Um, it's, it is a uh, coated kibble and um, it is just, it's gonna be amazing. So it's gonna be a grain-free salmon-based cat food. And it's gonna be coated with bone broth, uh, freeze-dried uh, raw venison, um, probably a little bit of beef collagen and probiotics as well. So super, super tasty and great for the cat. Really, really low carb. Um, let's see who else we got here. Kim says hello. Haley, Haley Hendrickson. No question, just praise. My six-month-old Golden had terrible skin. We tried every sensitive skin brand out there. Within a week of using your Ocean Fish blend, his skin cleared up and his coat looks gorgeous. Thank you, Hasley. So Hasley's Golden did awesome on Munster, and that is super exciting here. You know, I also had Ocean Fish, and check this skin out. How great does that look, huh? And, and you know, I'm not even using a trick on the camera here. And you should have seen my hair last week after the coconut oil. It was pretty amazing. Eddie's uh, Eddie's scalp was glowing for at least three days too. So thank you, Hasley. Uh, Kevin's cats are excited. Kevin, what kind of cats do you have? Um, Pat. <clears throat> so Pat wants a little heavier duty bag. Absolutely, we can definitely do that. Um, we will work on that. Did it did it look like it was cut, Pat, or did it just like bust open? Because sometimes when we cut those bags, the box is open. Sometimes that can cause the bag to split. But we can definitely work on that. And if you guys have problems, you know, we, we take care of everything 100%. So um, if, if you spill 35 pounds of food because the bag ripped, that's, that's on us and we'll fix it. Um, Jocelyn, 
my dogs love the food, but gaining weight, maybe I'm giving too much of the freeze dried patty. I mix patty with dry. So yes, Jocelyn, that's very, very possible. So for every patty of our food that you're feeding, you probably can reduce the dry food by a fourth of a cup. And so our dry food already has about 25 to 30% more calories than what most dry foods have. And so um, we're already should be feeding about 25% less of other foods. And so if you add a patty to it, it's even less. And so, um, you know, one of the best things that you can do is, is skip a meal once a week until you get your dog back to that ideal weight or actually for a full day, like let them fast for a full day. That'll make a tremendous difference. Uh, so the, the food's great. The dogs are doing well on it. It sounds like it's just, they're getting a little bit heavy, which means we're, we're giving them a little bit too much food probably. And, and a lot of that is the way we cook the food. So we don't cook it as high a temperature as what a lot of others do. So you don't get that expansion. And so um, you're able to feed less of it. So uh, hopefully that helps Jocelyn. Let us know if you have any more questions as we as we go on. And, and in four weeks or so, you should see a, a pretty good dif difference if you cut the, the dry kibble back by about 25%. Um, so Daniel has a question, slowly switch to this food or introduce it right away. One of the best things to do there is, is really uh, let, let your animal fast for 24 hours before introducing it and do about half of the feeding recommendation. And if you do that, typically they can handle it just fine without a slow, slow transition. It's always good to do a little bit of a transition. Uh, one of the things that we do have now is uh, Eddie's working on it and should have it up by next Monday, but we'll be able to add probiotics to the outside of the kibble. And we also have uh, some digestive toppers coming out uh, that we've partnered with a local veterinarian that has helped us develop these. And it's Dr. Verwares, and it has probiotics that we'll be adding to the outside of the food as well. Uh, Kevin's got tabbies. Hey, I had a, I had a tabby for 15 years. Her name was Stormy. She's a good cat. Um, Kim, we survived the 4th of July with the CBD oil and our first two monsoon storms all at once. Uh, so glad it worked. Uh, Kim, did you have, you have any tips for other people on how to, how, how to administer the CBD? What did you do? What worked, you know, help us, help us, uh, help us learn about uh, what you did and, and make sure that we can continue to be better with it as well. That would be fantastic. Um, April wants a zipper seal in a 30 pound bags like the smaller bags. You know, that's a, that's a really good point, April. Um, we have looked at that. It does, it does raise the, the cost of the food a little bit, but, um, if, if a lot of people want a zipper bag for the big bags, we would definitely do that. One of the things that we are looking at doing is actually changing our bag to be more of a, probably closer to like 22, 23 pounds. And that's strictly driven by uh, UPS, they have added a significant surcharge for anything over 50 pounds. So we're, we're kind of trying to figure out a way on how can we ship uh, the most amount of food for the cheapest amount possible. And if we went to like a 22 pound bag, that would allow us to actually hit more of a, uh, uh, you could get 44 pounds at a time of any of the foods and it would stay underneath that 50 pounds. And so if we do that, that may be a good time for us to switch to the zipper bag. Like uh, the Velcro, I think is what you're referring to that you like. So uh, thank you for that. Um, Hasley, our dog is in training to be a service dog and we'll be doing mobility work for my six year old daughter. Are there any food additions or treats and vitamins that you'd recommend for his joints? With him being a large breed, I try to keep close tabs as he's prone to joint problems. So yes, there are the, the number one thing that you can do is add uh, things like salmon oil to the product because it is going to reduce inflammation. Uh, it, it's just one of the best things you can add to a food to reduce inflammation. And so that'll help him on a day in and day out basis. The other thing that we have coming out is in our Dr. Verwares uh, supplement line, we do have a hip and joint uh, meal topper. And so uh, be on the lookout for those when we roll those out. We're probably looking at uh, sometime in uh, early to mid August when we release those. And we will have a very, very aggressive sell on those when they first come out. So it's okay for you to load up and stock up on those. Um, that will work wonders for them as well. It's going to have not just glucosamine and chondroitin, but also uh, CBD oil in it as well. And so that should be great for your dog. Um, Tiara, any recommendation, uh, a certain food for Shih Tzus? Um, you know, r really, I think it just depends on what they like the most. Um, I, I would look at putting, uh, you know, probably one of our enhancements on it because Shih Tzus can be a little bit pickier. And so if you pick the right food, um, you can kind of rotate in and out what you put on the food. Um, Eddie, we've got uh, Ancient Grains flights, right? Yes. So we've got an Ancient Grains and a Grain-Free Bundle flight for the Shih Tzus. 
And so what you can do is buy a collection of uh, five pound bags, buy one of our elk or beef mill toppers and kind of test out and see which product they like the most. And, and then you can go from there. But typically the smaller dogs have like the higher protein, higher fat foods. So like our ancient grains, chicken and pork is pretty popular for the small breeds. And then any of our grain freaks. And I would look at probably the salmon or the chicken and turkey, uh, maybe the rabbit even. So that, that would be my answer to that question. Um, Jocelyn says, skip a meal, LOL. I do not think they will allow that. They will. They absolutely will. Um, and, and they will give you a hard time for a little bit. One thing you could do to supplement for that meal is you could give them a little bit of bone broth. Uh, bone broth does a world of good for dogs. And so it will help kind of fill that stomach up, satisfy them, and kind of hold them back while also helping rebuild that gut microbiome as well. Um, Hasley says yes to the smaller bag with a zipper or a big bag with a zipper, but maybe a smaller version. Uh, bag price, uh, Tammy, which bag price are you looking for? Um, Tammy, feel free to just shoot us a message and we can definitely get back to you on that. Uh, Jamie, I have one dog with allergies. She gets itchy ears and skin. So far, the, your pork blend has less than that. What would you recommend feeding from your brand? So a lot, what a lot of people do, Jamie, if they've got a dog with allergies is they, our, our salmon grain free has changed lives. And so has our rabbit grain free. Um, you're able to feed less of it and it will, it will, it will help tremendously that the number one thing you can do for a dog with allergies is if you go to feeding them once a day, man, it makes a difference. Like it just, it really, really helps. I know nobody wants to do that because uh, feeding a dog once a day is, is uh, it's counterintuitive because we've been trained to feed dogs like we do people, but that's not how they were meant to be fed in the wild. So uh, typically a dog in the wild, it ate when it ate and it ate when it killed something. And so um, that would be my recommendation there. Um, and, and really, uh, one of the things we're doing, Jamie, is we are working on a raw reset program. So think of an elimination diet for dogs where we, um, we, we take our free stride and we feed the dogs only free stride for a month. And then what we do is we try out some of our, um, kind of our limited ingredient diets, like our grain free rabbit or grain free salmon and, and slowly introduce dogs to those so that we can put them on the kibble that works best for them because the one thing we have to do on allergies is we have to completely eliminate um, the allergies if possible because it, uh, you know, it's one of those things they just build on each other and build on each other and build on each other. And if we don't remove the inflammation and the, the histamines that are causing the reaction, it's really, really hard to get through that 100%. So that, that would be my recommendation there. Um, Grain-free salmon or rabbit works really, really well. Um, let's see. Uh-oh, I got way behind here. Uh, Velcro on the small bags is amazing. Thank you, Kevin. We will we will keep that in mind on the big ones. So Jody and Bo Richards. So um, for those of you that don't know Jody and Bo Richards, you should. So Bo uh, Bo is our the basically in charge of our freeze dried facility. And so if you guys like our freeze dried facility uh, and you like the products that we're putting out of it, that is thanks to none other than the Bo Richards. And uh, Jody happens to be the uh, one of the best groomers in Cook County. So if you need a groomer, um, you need to check out Jody and Bo Richards. She does a fantastic job. Uh, just she's been a, a vet tech for many, many years. So she's been around animals for her whole life, loves them and does a fantastic job. So highly recommend them. Um, Tiffany waiting on their first order. Yes, uh, friend highly recommended our food. Uh, so glad, thank you for your friend. We appreciate that. Uh, hopefully you guys love it and your dog loves it too. Uh, I know I did when I ate it for a month. Um, good morning, Sue. Any recommendations for Dobermans? You know, uh, Melissa, if we have a, uh, there's a, one of our customers, her name is Tiffany Neal. She, she raises Dobermans and I believe her top, her favorite food is our chicken and pork. Uh, and I think she put some of the heart strong meal topper supplement on it as well. Um, you know, Dobermans are the, one of the breeds that are more at risk to have a heart disease. So putting that heart string, heart strong meal topper can make a world of difference for that dog their entire life. So I highly recommend that. And then if you want to look up Tiffany Neal on Facebook, she's got a wealth of knowledge as well on Dobermans. Um, Pam Key, American Bulldog with severe allergies. Yes. The first thing I would do, Pam, is get them off of chicken. And see, consider going freeze dried. Uh, when you go freeze dried, it uh, it really it makes a world of difference. Um, it just 
getting rid of everything first. And then, then what we want to do is come back and, and probably introduce a probiotic daily uh, and potentially adding uh, beef collagen to any food that you order. Because a lot of times uh, these allergies, again, they're, they're caused by the gut. And when you have leaky gut is what happens. It kind of looks like this. And so different foods that they're digesting can actually get into the bloodstream and can start to cause um, a histamine reaction where the body goes into inflammation mode, which then presents itself on the skin and causes them to chew an itch. So if you can do it, I would recommend doing a month of freeze dried only. Uh, and, and we actually, we've got our freeze dried beef patties on sale right now. They're 25% off through the end of the day tomorrow. You can use coupon code 25BEEF. Um, and if you need any help on feeding recommendations or what to do there, you know, send us a direct message. We'd be happy to help you. Or you can send me an email, Mitch at MunsterMilling.com, and I will jump on that and help put a program together for you. Um, Kim on the CBD oil, she started four days before the fourth to get it in her system. And they also just watched the weather, and within an hour or so of the weather hitting, they dosed her with the CBD oil. She's 70 pounds, and they gave her one milliliter. So, um, Kim, I'm so glad to hear that that worked, and uh, thank you for sharing with everybody else. Um, okay, well... I've got about four more minutes, so I'm going to uh, run through the questions that we have here if I don't. Um, so let's see, we've got, uh, Tierra says, thank you, uh, Jasis and Stacy Brown. So uh, they just want to know, uh, when do we think the cat food will be ready for us to, to buy? Uh, looking at probably a um, mid-August to September 1st release on that, and we're probably only going to release the first 100 bags. So it's going to be limited quantity available at the first go. Um, but it, we're looking at probably somewhere between four and six weeks where we will have it ready. So uh, my cat Sprinkle Sparkles has been trying it out and she loves it. So I can't wait for you guys to, to get a chance at it as well. Uh, Tammy has a Labrador and that was in response to a question she asked earlier, which was bag price. Um, so Tammy, I, I think it, it, it depends on, you know, how big a bag you're looking for, but you know, we have foods that range anywhere from $39 and we have foods that are up to $89, depending on which protein you go with. So it, anywhere in that range. Um, and, and again, our food lasts a lot longer than most brands cause it's about 25 to 30% more calorically dense. So I have a, uh, I have a 60 pound lab and she probably goes through about maybe 18 to 20 pounds of food a month. And so. Yeah, one bag of food should last you close to six weeks. Um, is a raw topper or the protein booster better for a hunting dog to add? So, Megan, I would I would either do the raw topper or I would do a protein booster and an oil. And the reason why is we want to get as much fat as we can uh, because that fat is really a great energy source for these dogs, especially hunting dogs. Like, they need more fat on them. Um, and the more fat they have, the longer that they can last out in the field. So, I would look at doing either salmon oil and, and the beef collagen, or I would look at doing uh, one of the freeze-dried raw toppers. Uh, hopefully that answers your question, but I think either combination of that's good. And honestly, the bacon fat is great too, because it just, it tastes great and adds quite a bit of calories. So uh, I would I would look at that. Um, Amber, dietomaceous earth. Amber, I'm gonna have to look into that. I have not looked at our large brief bag recently, but I will check into that on the dietomaceous earth, okay? Um, all right, I've got time for just a few more questions, and then I've got to bell out. Uh, I have a picky eater that can take food or leave it. It does better on your food, but any suggestions? My other pups love everything. So for the picky eater, uh, I would look at the enhancements. That's that's one of the reasons we rolled enhancements out, because when I was eating dog food for a month, I got really, really bored. And um, I got bored because it was the same thing. Like even if it was pepperoni pizza every day, I would have gotten bored. So uh, what I would do is kind of rotate through, maybe trying some of the salmon protein boosters, some of the beef collagen, uh, some of the bacon fat. The other thing, Roberta, is don't, don't leave the food out all day for them. So when they walk away from it and they're done, pull the food. Because if they know they can just kind of come back to it whenever, that's what they're going to do. But if they know that the only time that they're going to be able to eat is when you put it down, typically that can help them eat it a little bit better. Um, Sievert likes a cat name. So uh, Sievert Nielsen, by the way, that you see him on here, Sievert is one of the one of the awesome guys that's responsible for helping us get our food all over the country. And so uh, if anybody here works at a place where you need LTL shipping, which is less than truckload uh, shipping, Sievert is your guy. He's awesome, does a great job. Uh, and he is uh, someone that stands behind what they do. So if we have a shipping issue, Steven or Sievert is all over helping us. Thank you, Sievert. Um, let's see. 
All right, one last one. Why did you add pumpkin to the freeze dried? So some of the freeze dried has pumpkin in it because honestly, it just helps so much with digestive, and 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 so pumpkin has proven to help with digestion. It's great for dogs on that end, and uh, that's why we have that in there. Uh, we do have a great pumpkin spice meatball coming out this fall, and so it's going to be a limited release. There's only going to be some available, so it's one of those first come first serve, and uh, that's why we added pumpkin. So um, let's see, pork with tube. Two protein boosters, total protein. Um, so the total protein, anytime you add a protein booster, it's going to raise the protein percentage of that food by about 3%. So uh, if you're feeding one that's 28 protein, it's going to move up to, if you add two of them, it's going to move up to probably about a 34%. So um, guys, thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. I'm going to sign off now. I got another phone call I got to jump on, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed talking with everyone. And remember, it was me. I let the dogs out. I'm doing well. How are you? Bye, guys. And yes, Chris Joy, I 100% will be eating some of the pumpkin spice. Uh, Central Standard. Okay, you all have a great day.